Welcome to this brief overview of the approach and roadmap for the Core Specification Working Group of the Alliance for Open Universal Scene Description, or AOUSD. In the next few minutes, we'll walk through the motivation, milestones, and planned expansions of USD data specifications in the 2024-2025 timeframe. The mission of the Core Spec Working Group is to formalize the foundational data models and predictable behaviors of open USC composition and population in normative specifications as an international cross-industry standard for interop and interchange of aggregate data sets describing virtual worlds. Our approach is to start with a normative, multi-part data specification at the most low-level aspects of open USD. This encompasses data models as an abstraction of system inputs that are agnostic of software runtime specifics like APIs and other programming language and device-dependent considerations. These system inputs yield predictable behaviors in canonical outputs, encompassing the full complement of composition sites that can contribute opinions and populate the scene graph hierarchy from which predictable data queries can be performed from any USD-compliant platform. AOUSD will build upon the foundations being laid by the Core Spec Working Group as part of a longer-term roadmap to continue building out a full, multi-part specification for all USD data models. Like a layer cake, higher-level specifications may normatively reference the Core Spec. Some of the next levels of the layer cake can include specifications for composed data such as meshes and materials, and on top of that, computed data such as visibility, and specifications for compliance with OpenExec. The initial timeline of core spec deliverables spans 2024 and 2025. We aim to publish preliminary outlines for all specification areas in the first quarter of 2024, and then submit preliminary drafts for formal review around the third quarter of 2024. Revisions addressing feedback will be published in the fourth quarter of 2024, and be iterated upon with a goal of final ratification around the third quarter, 2025. A future goal is to work with the ISO HATC PAS submission process to allow international adoption and recognition of the core specification. To execute the approach, our guiding principles are to specify predictable behavior for generating the full complement of composition sites ordered by liver piece strength, which can contribute opinions to each prim on the stage, and the resolved values for all metadata, including attribute values and relationship targets on the populated stage. The multi-part core specification consists of five interrelated areas. Let's walk through each of these from low-level foundation data types up through canonical stage population behaviors. The foundational data types area of the specification defines attribute value types. These include straightforward scalar types such as floats and doubles, as well as USD specific value types such as asset paths serving as resource identifiers. Dimension types encompass tuples such as double two and linear algebra types such as a four by four matrix of doubles or an array of floating point triples serving as point coordinates. Next up, foundational data models, which include the document model and composition schema defined in OpenUSD's informative SDF schema implementation, where SDF stands for Scene Description Foundation. These include, for example, the fields required to represent a prim spec, that is, a single scene graph node, in an individual document or layer in USD parlance, and the canonical input fields to the composition engine, such as the reference field, represented as a list op to prepend and delete reference arcs on an individual prim spec, and so on. In addition, this area of the normative specification will describe the queries required to be supported by USD compliant file format front ends, as outlined in OpenUSD's informative STF abstract data class. The core file formats embody concrete manifestations of the abstract foundational data models, 
specifically in human readable USDA, and binary USDC with support for optimization features such as data deduplication and direct memory mapping. While packaged USDZ is not a core file format, we are keeping it in scope for now as the contributors with the relevant skill sets for specifying USDZ overlap greatly with those specifying USDA and USDC. A normative specification for the composition engine encompassing the LibRP strength ordering algorithm will draw informative inspiration from OpenUSD's PCP library, where PCP stands for Prim Cache Population. The test PCP composition results unit test harness serializes the entire span of composition sites for a given input USD root layer. The test cases in OpenUSD's PCP Museum include a wide range of representative datasets covering common and quarter cases to exercise the composition engine. Another specification exercise inspired by Pixar's history is to undertake a potential informative reference implementation of LiverPs as a literate programming exercise. Finally, the stage population area of the core specification will be a normative description of the behaviors required to populate the composed scene graph to comply with predictable data queries for all composed prims, properties, and metadata. This includes the population of prim definitions, such as those defined by USD schema plugins, and many user-facing aspects of the previous four areas, such as namespace mapping across composition arcs, as well as layer offsets and scales. In summary, the core specification working group is formalizing normative abstractions of informative implementation details based off of existing code and documentation to ensure portability of USD data across platforms and devices and interoperability to grow existing data ecosystems and aggregate previously siloed data. For more information on participating in AOUSD, please send an email to membership at aousd.org or visit aousd.org slash hashtag membership. And you can find us on various social networks. Thank you for watching and we look forward to your feedback.